hello friends welcome back to the channel if you have not yet subscribed the channel then please subscribe it and also please share it with your friends today we will learn how to create a paragraph component so if you want to create a paragraph component on any on your uh, of your page then we will see how we can do that so paragraph component we basically use if you want to add some text titles tables images hyperlinks or any other content so in that scenario we use paragraph component so whenever if there is a requirement in your project where you want to display uh, the text or html content on any of your page then in that scenario you can use paragraph component like here on pdp you can see that welcome to pdp page is coming so this text is coming with the help of paragraph component we will see today how we can create this paragraph component now let us understand the impacts so first of all what we did is we, we have created a macro content catalog and in that we have defined this april uk content catalog we have given the name of the content catalog in here and in this content catalog uh, cv content catalog version we are fetching uh, with the help of this macro content catalog and uh, uh, the online version we have defined in here so with the help of this content catalog macro and uh, the online version we are basically fetching the catalog version in here and uh, the value that is getting fetched we have defined associated that with this content cv macro if you guys are new to impacts and you want to know how we define impacts what are the features or actions we can do with the help of impacts then i already have created a video over impacts and uh, the link of that video is present in the description box also in the top right section of your screen you are seeing the link of hybris tutorial the all the videos which we have created as of now so you can go through that and then check the uh, video on this impacts now uh, let's proceed further so in order to create a paragraph component what we did is we have defined the, uh, we are updating or inserting in this item type cms paragraph component in this what are other uh, attributes that we are passing we are passing this content cv which we have defined in here the catalog version the uid which is unique so the name we have given product detail info component so if you check for this content catalog version we have not defined anything so whatever the value that has came in here in the macro that we are using and the uid we have defined product details info component so and here you are seeing this unique is equal to true and again here unique is equal to true so basically it means that uh, the combination of these two values should be unique in this cms paragraph component so if you will then see then uh, for the online catalog version for this april uk content catalog if you have defined or uh, the value is already present uh, product detail info component then in that scenario what will happen is it will update the value otherwise if the uh, if uh, this is not present the unique combination is not present then it will create one right and after that we have given the name of this cms paragraph component as pdp information and uh, in the component reference we are using this product detail info component and the content we have given here welcome to pdp page so this is the same content which we, which i have shown you uh, here welcome to pdp page so this is the same component uh this is the same content right now once we have created this cms paragraph component then what we did is we have created a content slot so we are creating a content slot wherein we are again passing this content catalog version it is 
unique and the uid is also unique so basically it means that the combination of these two should be unique and uh, in this content slot item type uh, the uid we are passing is product detail info the name we have given is as pdp info slot and we have uh, said that it is true the it is active right then what we are doing in the next impacts we are basically associating this product detail info slot with this cms paragraph component so if you are seeing in here we are we have passed this unique uh, is equal to true so this is the content slot which have which was created in the above line and we are associating with the cms component so uh, this is the cms component uh, here it is fetching basis on the uid so uh, this is the product detail info component which we have created and the content catalog version it will check in this online uh, april uk content catalog so uh, it will get the information from there and uh, we are associating uh, both the things uh, with this content slot after that what we are doing is we are uh, cr uh, creating this content slot for page so in this what we are doing is uh, we have provided a unique name which is product detail info slot we have provided the position right so position is product detail info slot so with this position uh, and uh, the page we have defined as the product detail because we want to display this paragraph component on the pdp page and then at the end what we did is we have given this content slot which is uh, unique also so all these combinations is combining all these uh, combinations the value should be unique for this content slot for page so this the impacts we have created now let us simply change the content in here so i have given welcome to pdp page new and let's try to run this impacts as we are directly changing this to the online catalog version so that is why we don't have to do the synchronization and whatever changes we are doing it will be directly reflected in your uh, on your site so let us go to the HAC and here we'll copy this impacts. So uh, for that you have to go to the console and then click on the impacts import. You will land on this screen, impacts import screen. After that we are validating the content and then we are clicking on the import content. So now you can see that the import finished successfully. Now let's go back to uh, the storefront and let's see the message. So here you can see that the new message is coming. But then how it is coming on the storefront? You have only updated the content slot for page, right? So how come it is coming at this particular position and not? anywhere else so for that what we did is we have created uh, this uh, div we have created one div product detail panel dot in the product details panel dot tag as you know that for uh, for this pdp page we are using uh, product details panel dot tag we always use this so whenever you create your custom storefront so in that particular storefront you have to go inside uh, this path web web root web hyphen inf tag responsive product and then you will find this product detail panel tag and in there what i did is uh, i have created a div right uh, so it is with the name of uh, the page uh, what we have defined in here product details info slot and uh, in the in the page slot we have defined the position right so here you can see we have given the position product detail info slot this is the position we have given so uh, here you can see 
that uh, with this position uh, it is picking so if if i simply cut it from here remove this thing and save it and if then i update or refresh the page then you can see the message is not coming right so after running the impacts or once you have created the impacts it is necessary that you define this page slot in whichever like over on pdp wherever you want to display this uh, content that you have you have provided in the paragraph component so for that you have to define this thing right you have to define this thing and uh, it is always with the cms page slot and then the position so it will always be this in this fashion only now if we save it again and then if you refresh the page then you are seeing this uh, welcome to pdp page new message again is coming now let's go to the back office and see the association we came to back office and here i have searched the page i clicked on this page right and in the page id i have searched for the product details so i have got these uh, results as the catalog version i have defined here april uk content catalog and it is of online version so let us go inside this catalog version in this page id and here we have to go to this content slots in the content slots we are seeing this product detail info slot this the same which we have created through impacts and inside this we have this content slot pdp info slot so let's go inside this and inside this pdp info slot we have this pdp information component now here if you see the content it is the same content that we have provided through impacts but here you are seeing that this content is localized so if suppose here we are using the local en if in your in your project you are using any other local say french then you have to provide this message in the french local section right and also i have uh, told you that uh, with the help of paragraph component we can uh, like provide uh, the images hyperlinks titles and all those stuff so basically uh, whatever in the html content we provide the same in the same fashion we can define in this uh, in in here so suppose now we want to show this message in a bold so for that what we will do is just like in html we give b and then we will close it and let's save it right and now when we will again refresh it the page so now you are seeing that the uh, the message is in bold right now also see how we can define the uh, the the link the hyperlink in here suppose uh, we have given this welcome to the pdp page and now let's say we want to define uh, the the hyperlink so for that uh, we will copy this so here what i did is uh, i have created a href right which will re redirect to google.com and it will give uh, it will also show the message visit google.com so let us save this and then let us refresh the page so here you can see that uh, visit google.com is coming and when we click on this we will be redirect to the google.com so friends with this i hope you have now the understanding 
uh, on how to create this paragraph component in Hybris. If you find the video useful, then please like it, subscribe the channel and also share it with your friends and also please provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching it friends. Happy learning.